Series. We're glad to be back in Charlotte on the Red Man Tour as the top pullers in America will be competing this evening for the National Point Championship. We'll be back in just a moment. TNT's World of Power roars into your living room with explosive home video action. It's the stars of the Red Man TNT All-American Pulling Series, plus the country's hottest and meanest car-crushing monster trucks, and the grime and glory of butt racing, all on one VHS video cassette. Send check or money order for $24.95 to this address, or charge it to your Visa or MasterCard by calling 1-800-227-3167. Now this is the way they walk in North Carolina. No, no. That's Raleigh. Oh, this is Charlotte. This is you want to see how Charlotte, North Carolina, this is the way you walked in the building tonight. You ready? Saturday night, Charlotte, North Carolina. Here we go. That's right. Having fun. Getting in that building. Get oh, all right, little Chuck Berry there. Looking good. Back to the action now, ladies and gentlemen, as the awesome four-wheel drives come to do battle in Charlotte, North Carolina. You look on the far side of the arena, you've got Kentucky, Florida, Kentucky again, another Florida truck, Virginia, North Carolina, times two, Ohio. They are from all over the country. The first one comes alive on the Red Man Tour. Who's it going to be? Setting the pace as the modified 4x4 will be the first class to go to the sled in Charlotte. Ladies and gentlemen, out of West Palm Beach, Florida, the Killer Four, Charlie Lowe. How about it, four people, F-O-R-D, the Killer Four, Lowe, backs out. Charlie Lowe, we thought he developed the name of the truck from Jerry Lee Lewis, right? The Killer, rock and roll fame. That's not the case. He owns a slaughterhouse down in South Florida. That's where the name of the truck came from. He, along with the Outlaw Ford, will be out in just a moment, dominated the circuit out in Salt Lake City about a month ago. First shot in the modified 4x4 division will be out of the Ford camp. Takes a fall, 15963. Charlie Lowe out of West Palm Beach, Florida, takes the first shot with a Mountain Motor Ford. Charlie, the sled's official. What do you think it's going to take to win tonight? I don't know. The track might get better. All right, we're going to find out a little bit later. Charlie Lowe finishing his shot all the way up from Florida. What goes to the sled? What is it? Chevrolet! This young man, currently your national points leader, is your defending national champion out of North Carolina in a Chevrolet. Greg Cook, Wild Blue. Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Cook just put the Chevrolet in the number one spot at a 162. I tell you what, Greg, you're currently leading the national points. Is this going to be good enough to hang on to a win here tonight? I hope it does. It, the track may change very a little bit, but I don't know if it'll hold up or not. We'll just have to wait and see. I was noticing last night everybody went out of the middle tonight. You took a shot over to the left side of the track. Any specific reason for that? Yeah, last night the right-hand side of the track tended to be a little wet, and I think most people stay away from there tonight. Okay, well, Chevrolet people, this man put you in the lead. Let's get on with the Red Man Tour. How about it, Chevrolet people? Let's go. Let's get into it right off the start. Chevrolet comes out. Ron Banana, big block Chevrolet, 1982-83, National High Point Champion in the 5,800-pound modified truck division. Working the left side of the track. Green light flashing on the sled. City Chevrolet making it possible. Side. We noticed Cook went to the left side. It worked for him. You went into his tracks. 
How come everybody's working off the left tonight? I don't know. I try to split Cook's tracks, what I try to do. You think that the 163 is going to hold on, or will the track get better as the pull goes on? No, there's a lot of good trucks back there yet. We're going to find out. So Chevrolet people, you've given them the old one-two punch. You said one and two. Let's see what's going to happen. Point four six puts him in the number three spot. So we've got another big bear waiting on the starting line, a crowd pleaser, Thomas Carnell, a tremendous young man, traveled to the national circuit with us. He is your pending TNT winner point champion, the crowd pleaser Chevrolet. How about the Chevrolet people? You still believe we got a GMC out there? We got to get a hold of. We noticed you were working a groove just like Russell DeForest in front of you. You're about four feet out on everybody. You think it's going to last for you? No, I think the groove is going to get a little better as the class progresses. But I hope it doesn't. Good enough. Chevrolet people, one, two, three is where you're sitting right now in Charlotte, North Carolina. The only way you're going to catch Carnell now is you must also make a pull pull and come back and get him in a pull-off. We'll be back to all the 4x4 action in just a moment as the next truck comes alive. See in America, Jim Lyons. Have you ever bought a pair of high-dollar fashion clothes, jeans? These are the guys that make them. On the week, they make the high-dollar britches. On the weekend, they go out and pull with a truck called Stitches. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Lyons out of Louisville, Kentucky. He will pull a trigger on you. Runs what they call an area, excuse me, a Rodak engine. Lions goes a 162 09. 162.09 for the Bluegrass Betty. Your leader officially, Chevrolet, with a full pull. GMC took a shot. Yellow Fever, 1988. Chevrolet, ladies and gentlemen. The heartbeat of America. Back into the sled. Beautiful candy pearl yellow paint. Randy McConnell doing the driving. Trying to bump off Thomas Carneal, the only puller in a Chevrolet with a full pull in Charlotte, North Carolina. Point six eight feet. Far off, not nearly enough to bump Thomas Carneal. Randy appeared to have too much weight on his front end. We're down to the final three in the class. They are still shooting for Thomas Carneal. Three more can put him away. They're going to come after him right now. This one being a Dodge. The next two shall of the Chevrolet camp. It'll be risky business and the three-barred pulling team, but right now we go to the starting line to check on the Enterprise Dodge out of Canton, Ohio. the same mistake, too much front end weight, only 154.19 feet. Thomas Carneal should feel mighty good right now, only two to go. There are only two more bullets left that can bump off Thomas Carneal. One of them is best friend Carl Staples with a truck that goes by the name of Risky Business. One of the main parts of the sport is what's going on right now. Now the fellow that just went out to help him is the fellow he's trying to beat. Your best of friends till you hook to the sled. 
He spotted the sled on the left side of the track. The leader came out of the middle. Where you spot that sled is so important in this sport. You have 170 feet to pull. So far, a 167 was the best shot we've made tonight. That being the young man that is helping this gentleman right here. So we're going to wait to see Carl Staples ready for his shot. That's a good shot, a 161.32. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to one more to go. It'll be the Three Bears pulling team out of Virginia. Robert Smith is going after another Virginia puller. It's going to be a Chevrolet in the winner's circle in Charlotte, North Carolina. Which one will it be, the crowd leader or the Three Bears pulling team? Thomas Carneal wins in Charlotte, North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Carneal put the Chevrolet one, two, and three to right here with the crowd pleaser. Thomas Carneal with the crowd pleaser puts the sprinkles on the ice cream and has the only full bowl tonight in the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. Chevrolet people, one, two, three, is where you're sitting right now in Charlotte, North Carolina. of the most powerful sport on earth with a TNT membership. Get 12 issues of Power Tracks, the monthly pulling magazine, a Redman TNT pulling cap, a TNT Motorsports patch, Redman and TNT decals, plus a 10% discount card on all mail order purchases. Send check or money order for $24.95 to this address or charge it to your Visa or MasterCard by calling 1-800-227-3167. Order now. This is the leading edge of racing technology. The perfection of the new Pennzoil Z7 Special, powered by the Penske Chevrolet engine. And from day one, it has run on the world-class protection of Pennzoil motor oil. There is no other engine in the world like it, and no other oil in the world can protect it like Pennzoil. Pennzoil, world-class protection that exceeds U.S. warranty requirements of every car maker in the world. Now save $3 a case or 20 cents a quart. See mail-in rebate coupon in the back of every bottle. The Summer Point Circuit of the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series kicks off this month with a double dose of pulling and monster truck racing, April 8th and 9th at Nashville Motor Speedway. The Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge invades the Roanoke Civic Center, also April 8th and 9th. Pulling comes to Erie, Pennsylvania, April 8th, 9th, and 10th in the Civic Center. The pursuit of power continues April 15th and 16th with a pull at Spencer Speedway in Tupelo, Mississippi. Then it's California, here we come, as the Redman TNT Series roars into Spartan Stadium at San Jose State University. Two power pack sessions are on tap for San Jose, 8 p.m. Saturday, April 16th, and 2 p.m. Sunday, April 17th. The most powerful sport on earth then moves to the beautiful new Memphis Motorsports Park. April 29th and 30th and May 1st. Then it's on to Raleigh, North Carolina, May 6th, 7th, and 8th for more Redman TNT pulling action. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Charlotte, North Carolina as the bad boys of the sport are sitting across the arena. We look down the lineup, the four-engine Irish Challenger, the all-pro auto parts, war wagon. One to go, a turbine-powered vehicle, Mr. Budweiser, a triple-engine combination, the Fancy Farmer, the Dollar Devil, me, Miss Treater, the Sassy Massey. They're all here to do battle on the Red Man Tour in Charlotte, North Carolina. First one will only use three engines for horsepower. He keeps the fourth engine on the tractor to make the 7,200-pound weight class. One engine, the left front, will not be hooked up. He is not allowed to run four engines.